right, so these are pretty cool. Um, um, nets. This is an interesting um, concept in solid geometry. Um, so what what is a net of a solid? What so for for example, what's the net of a cube? Well, a net of a solid is a two-dimensional figure, which can actually be folded into that solid. So the net of a cube would be a 2D thing that's not a cube, but that could be folded into a cube. Um, so, for example, this is a net of a cube. It's not the only possible net of a cube, but this is a net. Um, and I tried to show some of the process of folding here. Um, it, you know, you don't have to actually physically fold it, but just in in theory, if it could be folded into a solid, then it is a net of that solid. So here's a um, a net of a cube. So it consists in six squares that are arranged in this pattern. Um, and I'm trying to kind of show this folding process. So if you fold up that side, fold up that side, fold up that side, and start folding up this, you get something like that. If you keep going, you know, this side will meet that, this side will close, this part will meet that, and then this will kind of flip over on the top, and you get a cube. All right, so this is a kind of a fun game to see if, well, it's, it's fun both ways. To see if you can start with a net and um, use your mind to fold it and see what solid it is. Um, that's fun. It's also really fun to start with a solid and use your mind to figure out uh, a net for that solid. Pretty cool, yeah. Um, now, if you're like me, it, it's kind of hard to see this stuff just looking at it, right? Um, mental visualization, it, you know, if you're not born with it, it's something that can be difficult to develop, but everyone can develop it. And what I would encourage you to do is, if if these things don't make any sense to you, just draw draw them out on paper. They don't have to be perfect. Draw them out on paper and then cut them out with scissors and try actually physically folding them with your hands to to help you develop a sense of the relationship between um, the two-dimensional shapes and how they would fold in three-dimensional space. And if you practice that, um, your mind will develop that ability to see things um, more clearly, uh, just mentally. Um, and it's fine. I mean, if you never develop that ability ever in your life, it's totally fine to make it physical, like draw on a piece of paper and cut it out and fold it. That's cool. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. So um, here are uh, three nets for you to try. Um, try them in your mind. See if you can fold them in your mind into 3D um, solids. And it, if you get stuck, try paper and actually physically folding them to see what happens and fold them different ways. Um, and then I would encourage you to actually start with some solids and see if you can figure out some cool nets um, for them. There's no one right way to do a net um, as long as it folds into that figure. So there, there can be uh, there's, there's all kinds of different creative ways you can um, figure, you know, do a net for a for a solid. So enjoy, have fun. All right, see you later.